This is blowing my mind today. Most of our modern day conveniences are hand-me-downs from the military. The military is finished with that. The military has gone beyond those conveniences. A good example, fortresses and trenches. Modern day housing is really just a hand-me-down from the military. Castles, moats, trenches, fortitudes, compounds. Those sort of things are no longer of use for the military. Mobility is the key. Yeah, they've kind of handed them down. That's now known as the real estate market. Our advancements in science, medicine, engineering, technology are all hand-me-downs. This so-called supercomputer that I'm using to post content on to social media on the internet is a hand-me-down from the military. So just imagine, dope. Well, I guess it all goes along with getting people to believe in a guy in the sky. Okay, if we can get you to believe a guy in the sky, because you know we, we all know that life comes from the female species for the most part, right? Let's see if we could get you to sort your trash. Yeah, screw that whole industry. Uh, and let's get each individual to sort their own trash. Um, yeah, let, oh, and, and if we can get you to do that, let's, let's get you to voluntarily give up your freedoms in order, um, you know, to just willingly stay in one place and, and, and sort of pay to stay in one place. So, uh, you know, because uh, prisons are very costly, we found. Um, if we can get you to do that, oh my goodness. Let, let's see, what could we do? Could, let's see if we can get you to give up your privacy altogether. Oh man. Plus the system works as perfect as a dream. It works for all you record company that come to skim the cream. From the cesspools of excitement where Jim Morrison once stood. Tinseltown Rebellion from downtown Hollywood. And look what they did there. They turned the whole world onto and into Hollywood. Oh. You see, only a moron would ignore the power of martial and military arts. <laughs> That's why a lot of nomads, if you noticed, are ex-military. There's nothing more easy to manipulate than a society of pathological narcissists. What do you think fight like a brave mean? Does it mean embracing the axiom a man's house is his castle? Or does it mean embracing the axiom the TP is the sole domain of the squaw. Yes, I know the terms TP and squaw are not appropriate, but otherwise no one's gonna understand what the hell I'm saying. There's another one, what if we could get men to behave more like women because women by nature are very dependent. If we could only get men to behave more like women. Ah, yes, the feminization of men. Yes, the castration, the, um, yeah, oh, I, I think this is a great idea. So with the billions of people on the planet, we need a method of control. And I think, I think we got it. I think we got it. Okay, here's a good one. If they get out of hand, you know, they get too mouthy, too, uh, freedom of speechy, so to speak. Ah, uh, well, just have the algorithms deal with them. Yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, how about this thing? I got, here's a good term, cancel. Yeah, we'll cancel them. Yeah, we'll create a, we'll create a thing called cancel culture. <laughs> this is magnificent. And once we're done with them, they'll forget the name Schickel Gruber. Yes, they'll for, once we're done with them, they'll have no recollection of the genocides of like, you know, anyone that was against this wonderful methodology that we've developed and we've been developing since the you know late 1800s well actually mid 1800s but we really ramped it up by uh 1914. i got a great idea um let's call this um, 
military industrial complex takeover. Let's let's call it like world war. We'll call we we'll even break it up in chapters so people, you know, we can kind of change the story where we need to. We'll, we'll go like World War One and, and World War Two, and, you know, uh, we'll scare the shit out of them. Make sure that they, 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 they that, that World War Three never happens, right? Oh, uh, <laughs> don't anybody move or I will shoot this nickel. Oh my God, I got an idea. But the, it, this is evil. No, I can't. Uh, uh. Let's create a system where if you buy more, you pay less. But no, it, this is this is all tied in. Listen, listen. We'll make it so, unless you know you're you have inheritance of some sort, right? You, you following me? Unless you are, you get an inheritance. Oh, this is good. We'll make it impossible for you to be able to live as an individual, as a single, you have to get married. Or you at least have to pair up, right? Oh, this is, you see where I'm going with this? You have to pair up or else it will be nearly impossible for you to live as an individual. Unless of course, you know, you're of a certain class of individual that, you know, can inherit, you know, uh, oh, this is good. Single, smaller, more efficient will cost more, not less. Well, but yes, this whole concept, if you want a little bit, you got to pay a lot. Oh, 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 this is, this is good. The, I'm going to call this the topsy-turvy, um, plan. Okay, free all the slaves. We got this. This is a wrap. This is a wrap. Free all the slaves. We don't have to pay for their damn health care. We'll make them pay for their own health care. We'll make them pay for their own housing. And then we'll make them work for that. We'll make them work for us in order to pay for those things. This is amazing. I'm a genius. Is everybody happy? No problem. I think it's important to exercise both the brain and the body. So uh, for now on, when I make these sorts of videos, I'm going to include a body exercise. Let's do some skateboard push-ups. Alright, we'll right, you don't need me anymore. Do two more sets of those. You are stupid. Now, one of the biggest problems we have, uh, we gotta solve this one. Let's call it World War II. And the issue is, is yes, we are the champions of genocide and, and eugenics and whatnot, you know, from the mid-1930s. Um, but it's nasty business. I mean, yeah, it works. It's, it's perfect. I mean, we love it. You know, I mean, and obviously we are the champions of genocide with, why, with the Negroes and the, and the Indians and all. We did a pretty good job with that. So, the, but, but it's nasty business. We have to figure out how we can make it look as if someone else invented and uses and champions eugenics. Even though we, I mean, we, you know it's us, right? But if we could only just get people to think that someone else did. Now, it can't be the coloreds. We can't have the coloreds coming off as being smart. But maybe someone, someone over there in Europe. Hmm, I got an idea. Let's get, let, let, let's prop up a dictator in Germany and then kind of make it seem like it's all his idea. Yeah, I think this is, this is a good one. This is a good one. Now, there are a certain amount of people within our society, within our group, that are not toeing the line. So I got a good idea. Let's go ahead and target that group. Oh, this is good. And it, it wouldn't, couldn't possibly be us. Well, you know, what worked historically is perpetrate the crime, but make it seem as if you are the victim. I think this will work. It, it, historically, it, it has worked. 
sacrificing our own in order to advance. Oh, this is good. Hmm. Hmm. What sort of faith could we instill in people that would have them willingly give up their own in order to advance? Well, let me think about this one. All right, here's the story. I once had a child. It was my only child. And, and although it was a child of my creation, that child was born of an angel. And, and well, I, I, I got to admit, I, I, I put that child through through hell, so to speak. Um, but it, it was it was good for him. It was good for him. It was, it was create character. And um, well, you know, I mean the 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 long the long and short story of it is is that I eventually just had to let him go. I had to let him kind of suffer of his own consequences. Uh, oh, this is, this is a good one. This is a good story. I say we make a religion of that story. <laughs> Listen, that story is so good that you don't even have to believe in the story in order for it to affect your behavior. I mean, this is a good one. This is a good one. We will create not just a religion or a faith, but we will create a culture of sacrificing your own. Oh, this is good. This is good. As I say this all tongue in cheek, but what I am not going to kid around about is that we can create and manifest our futures we can embrace and support an inevitable new paradigm or we can retardedly work against it. We can retardedly keep propping up an old paradigm that no longer functions. We can create and manifest our own realities. We're, we're in that space and place in our human history that we could support and promote the new and inevitable paradigm, or we can act as losers and losers last stand and keep propping up this non-functional system. It's up to us. I love the English language. It works so well to debunk the English way as long as you combine it with history and an ability to connect the dots and read in between the historical lines.